Hello, welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a SaaS with Django. This is a beginner's friendly guide, so we're going to move from step A to step Z. Now, we're going to first of all talk about what is a SaaS. For example, Google Apps, Dropbox, HubSpot, and many more. Next, we're going to see how to solve multi-tenancy. And lastly, we're going to implement a software as a service with Django 3. But first, I would like to invite all of my viewers to subscribe so as to promote the channel because our subscribe ratio is very low. Now, what is a SaaS? So, a software as a service is a software distribution model in which a cloud provider hosts applications and makes them available to end users over the internet. Sounds crazy, but we're going to understand that. So, but first, a SaaS application and service typically use a multi-tenant approach that is a single instance running on the host server serves each subscribing customer but there is one thing to note the customer data is always different that is we have to separate the customer data so for example let's say we have a SaaS. it's a blogging SaaS. but let's say the name of the SaaS is bloggers so what this SaaS basically does it it's a software that permits users to create blogs so what customer A will be able to do is customer A will be able to access this software over the internet then now create his or her own blog through this service. That's already basically a SaaS because this application or software is providing service to customer A and enabling him to create his or her own blog without having to code or even manage the server. Next, same thing for customer B. Customer B will come, subscribe to the service, then now create his or her own blog. And same thing for customer C. So this is a basic SaaS model. That is, a customer comes and then is able to use the software as to serve his personal needs or subscribe. Then now use the software if like to meet up some needs. Now, what or how to solve multi-tenancy? First, a multi-tenant cloud is a cloud computing architecture that allows customers to share computing resources with each tenant data isolated and remains invisible to other tenants well sounds crazy but see for example let's say this is a server a server has resources a server has the software running and then these boxes are different tenants so what we are basically saying is different tenants have their own data so we want to look for a way to separate it and that's where multi-tenancy come into action so basically it's like your apartment let's say this is your apartment the server is your apartment and your tenant one if you have your data here or your properties in your house you don't want like tenant two data or properties to be mixed with yours so what you want to do is you want to isolate your own data or your own properties from tenant two from tenant three and tenant b so that as the cloud or the software grows as the software users number of users increases the software is able to serve different instances for like to serve different instances without having to make the data and that makes it easy because each tenant has its own block and each block has its own article what you don't want to do is someone requesting for block for the tenant one's block and then now data from tenant two is being passed like is being sent out there so that's why we have to use like we are trying to solve more tenant tenancy so as to separate or isolate the data for each tenant now there are three basic approaches in solving multi-tenancy the first approach is isolated approach where we use separate databases for each tenant that is the data for each tenant is being sa saved on a database second the semi-isolated approach where we use one database but we save the data for each tenant on a schema we're going to explain that more then we have the shared approach where we use one database and schema for all the tenants so first the isolated approach now let's say these are basic software as a service serving customer a and customer b customer a has a block block a and customer b has a block block b so in the isolated approach each tenant is going to have a specific database to save his or her own data because this block has its own specific data so when the block is collecting data it's going to collect from its own database and same thing with customer b he has his own database and sometimes the software as a service also has its own database just to save some few things so now we have the semi-isolated approach where we have the same 
software as a service serving customer A and customer B. But here we are not using several databases, we are using one database. And what makes this possible is because in database, there's some database that permits us to have portions or isolated portions of that database that is let's say a database can have pseudo databases so for example this is my main database so now a portion a and portion b are pseudo databases or more, normally they call it a schema that is a portion of a, data of a database that is isolated from the other and you see since the portion is isolated from the other we can grab the data for customer a and save it in portion a and grab the, the data for customer b and save it in the win portion b sorry and there we have solved multi-tenancy one able and we are able to save several customers sorry and we are able to save several customers now the shared approach in the shared approach what we basically do is we have one mighty database that saves the data for every everything the customer a and the customer b and including the SaaS. And basically in this approach, you have to write some good algorithms that will be able to fetch the data for each user. For example, if user A is requesting for data, he doesn't want data for user B. You do, in fact, you don't want the data from user B to be gotten. So you have to write some good algorithms that when customer A or when the blog of customer A is requesting for data, the data from the that is being retrieved from the database is specifically for customer A. And now we are going to be implementing a software service with Django. First, we are going to use the package called Django Tenant. And this package uses the semi-isolated approach, which they believe is the best or like in the middle of everything in between performance and speed, like it's easy and it's performant. And this, we are going to use a Postgres SQL database that is since the Postgre is one of those databases that offers schemas that is different portion of the database we are going to be saving the data for each client on those schemas.